it's possible that that like an alien species will have uh, depending on different cognitive capabilities and different perception systems will be able to see things that are much different than circles mm -hmm. and so if it's discovered it will still be pointing at a lot of same geometrical concepts mm -hmm. mathematical concepts but it's interesting to think of how many things we would have to still align, not just based on notation, but based on understanding, like just the, like um, some basic mathematical concepts, like how much work is there going to be in trying to find a common language? I mean, this is, um, I think Stephen Wolfram and his son helped with the movie Arrival, mm. like the developing an alien language, like how would aliens communicate with humans? It's fascinating. Because like math seems to be the most promising thing, but even like math, like how do you visualize mathematical ideas? It feels like there has to be an interactive component, just like we have a conversation. There has to be, this is something we don't, I think, think about often, which is like with somebody who doesn't know anything about math, doesn't know anything about English or any other natural language, how would we describe we talked offline about visual proofs. How would we, through visual proofs, have a conversation where we say something, here's the concept, the way we see it. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> and like, can you mess with that concept to, to make it sense for you? And then go back and forth in this kind of way. So purely through mathematics, I'm sure it's possible to have those kind of experiments with like tribes on earth that don't, there's no common language through math like draw a circle and see what they do with it, right? <laughs> do some of these visual proofs, uh, like the summation of the odds and the, the, the adds up to the squares. Yeah, it's, I wonder how difficult that is uh, before one, one or the other species murders. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good <deep> question. <laughs> I, I hope that the curiosity for knowledge will overpower the greedy. This is back to our game theory thing that the curiosity of like discovering math together will overpower the desire for resources and uh, ultimately like, you know, willing to commit violence in order to gain those resources. <laughs> I think as we progress, become more and more intelligent as a species, I'm hoping we would value more and more the knowledge because we'll come up with clever ways to gain more resources so we won't be so resource starved. I don't know. That's a hopeful message for when we finally meet aliens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 